So my guest in the spotlight this time around is no stranger to this podcast. She's been on here before. I love having her on. You know her from Ash vs. Evil Dead, Perpetual Grace. And then we're going to get to talk to her for a couple minutes about the upcoming movie coming out this month to VOD, Friendsgiving. She is one of my favorite people in the world to have on this podcast. And it took a pandemic for me to have her get for me to get her back on again. Please welcome to the podcast, the wonderful Dana DiLorenzo. Okay. Okay, my friend Ben in Philly. It did not take a pandemic. No, I could have asked you sooner. You could have, and it took something for me to be able to friggin' talk about. What am I, I can't, you know? Oh, come on. But listen, I told you, the offer stands. You can just pretend it's an interview or pretend it's a call of just like buddies. I just, I will just talk to you like this at all times. Cause well, you I'll, sent me tasty cakes. I'll you. be honest with you. It, this, this, this interview, this episode is basically just going to be, I mean, we're going to talk about Friendsgiving for a couple minutes, but this is basically just going to be us shooting the shit for 40 minutes. Oh, that's what, I mean, that's what I expect. Listen, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm so happy to talk about Friendsgiving and I just to be, uh, you know, uh, um, along with those people, but, you know, I, I, I have, it's, it's, it's such a great movie, but I also want to just talk to you about life and th- all the things you, you, you know, yeah. this so- is my fan <laughs> I'm using in case um, people wonder. Well, you said, yeah, um, I mean, you're out now, you're out in, in Cali. What's so it's- happening? I'm, I'm, I am, I, I'm, I, 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 this is what I look like. I want to, here's a fun fact on Ash versus Evil Dead for those fans. Oh, also I should, we have to give the disclaimer. I'm very loud especially when the microphone is this close to my mouth. <laughs> so you might want to take your headphones off or turn the volume down now. Fair warning. Okay. Um, um, except you have to turn it for you, Ben. Um, but <laughs> when, I, when I was on Ash was Evil Dead and we would get something thrown at us, whatever it was, blood, uh, ball, the, the, the demon ball, like mm-hmm. his brain exploded, anything, Elagos, um, we, would, we would do it. And sometimes the usually I, they were lying because you can't redo the first shot of it. You know what I mean? The, when you go from being clean to having it explode, to get that all off, especially for, for Lucy and I, who are women with hair and makeup or whatever, you can't just reset. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, but they always shockingly would reset like halfway. <laughs> so like they'd say, oh, well, it, like the rig didn't work as well as it sh- wasn't enough blood, for example. So they would like try and clean us up. And that's kind of what I look like right now, but with still like, this looks like what the um, oil of trying to get the stuff off would look like very quickly (laughs) right before they shot us. But in this case, this is just my natural sweat glow and a hundred degrees in Los Angeles. And I I feel bad because you know, you're mentioning it's like a hundred degrees in LA. Oh, it's not bad. I would well, there's worse feel- things in this world right now, trust me. <laughs> but I feel guilty telling you it's only 65 here in Philly. I am so jealous. Can it's- I tell you what? I'm just going to warn people. A lot of people love, love LA and love the weather, right? And I will say, it's great for the first year. <laughs> and I was, there was this woman, I wish I knew her name, that I'd randomly, um, just a stranger, met. And I, and I said, so where are you from? She said, LA. This was right before I was moving from Chicago, where it's negative. I went through a negative 40 degree winter often mm-hmm. and grew up in Ohio. So like, I'm not a stranger to like East Coast seasons and just like zero days of sun all year, right? And she goes, um, I'm gonna live in LA. I'm like, oh my God, I'm moving to LA. He said, oh, is it so amazing? With, I, didn't, I wasn't this, but this is how I sound in my head. I was so amazing with the sun and the weather every day. And she goes, honestly, it gets old. And I remember being like, what a bitch. Like, you don't even, in my head, I wouldn't say it to her. I was like, oh, okay. I understand what that means now. It gets old. I want mm-hmm. the seasons. The I love fall the seasons. is the best. Yep. This is my favorite time of year right now. I mean, you combine oh. the fall weather with ho- of, of October with Halloween coming up, and it's just... Oh, forget about it. And especially in Philly, unlike down on, like, is it Fulton and Broad? Where, where, that's where my grandfather was from. But, like, where's that, the, like, oh, man, I've only been there twice a night. Domain, the strip where it's, like, a bunch of little stores, and there was... South Street? I don't, it must be, because there was, like... A dildo shop, right? Oh next yeah, to the, yep. right next to the to the uh, Jim's or Joe's um, uh, um, cheese um, cheese, cheese steak. steak. Yep. Yeah, it's yeah. That's that's South that's Street. It. That's I loved it. I mean, and because my parent, we never went there with my parents when we would go um, visit or go to Jersey. So 
uh, I love, oh God, it's so beautiful. Yeah. So, so beautiful. all right. So I were right, enough with the pleasantries. No, 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 no. no. Right. I, I actually want to dive why into- why we need to talk more, Ben. <laughs> I want to dive into more pleasantries. I actually, I want to share a story with everybody watching and listening. And, oh God. But it's, it's, and it's a story you're involved in, but I haven't had an opportunity. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> Stop it. Oh, this it's is fine. Bad. It's fine. This is the best. Tell me, oh, this is such a great story. Go no, this ahead. actually, this actually is a, it, it's a great story. So, you know, the first time you were ever on the podcast, we, we bonded over Philly and the Jersey shore. What and year was that? 2015? And Tasty Cakes. Interrupt. Yeah, I think it was. It was like this, it was season one of Ash versus Evil Dead. Well, the season when we filmed, oh, so, and yeah, so then it came out, it came out uh, October of uh, Halloween, basically of, of 2015. Okay. Mm-hmm. So. Five uh, years, baby. Happy anniversary. I, <laughs> so I actually, uh, funny enough, the anniversary of this story I'm about to tell you was yesterday. Um, you don't hit me up and t- I wanted, tell me I this. wanted to, but I was already, oh, I, sh- I, I wanted boo. to talk to you about it on this. So all right, all right. We we bonded over tasty cakes, and I actually ended up sending you a box of you tasty sure did. cakes, a big um, old box with every variety. Mm-hmm. Um, we I had you on the podcast again since then, and then. Um, three years ago to the day yesterday, we were, there was a con, there was a convention here in Philadelphia that you were a guest at. And I, I knew what you looked like. You had no idea what I looked like. I remember this. (laughs) Cause we had only talked over like Twitter and online and and such. So I remember (laughs) I got in line, I paid your handler money to take a picture with you. And then after we took the picture, I started chatting with you and I was like, um, so I remember you doing a podcast with somebody here in Philadelphia. You were so great. And then I happened to say, and then that guy happened to send you tasty cakes afterwards. And And what was my reaction? And it clicked in your head who you were talking to and you literally leapt at me and like bear hugged me. So no, no. And then I believe I was like, give him his money back. Give everybody their money back. You did. You were like, give him his money back. I always feel weird about it. And anyway. Give him his money back. He's not paying for shit. As a matter, I'm going to give him an autograph too, which I still have. It's, it's, on, a, it's on a shelf over in my living room. Um, oh God, I'm but- so embarrassed at my, I did leap at you. I remember I quite <laughs> literally like did a one, two jump and like, like monkey hugged you. If you, you know if you were still I behind the, you over. I if, <laughs> if you were I still, more than I was. if you were behind your table, you would have leapt over the table <laughs> at that point. That's why I don't like a seat at my table usually, because mm. I, in those cases, which happen, what, like somebody I've either talked to or somebody I haven't seen forever and they let me know who they are or, and they, I don't know, look different. I, it's not often. I think that was the very first time that somebody that I didn't know personally, but had known. Mm -hmm. And, you know, in the midst of all of that, it's like, just to be, it's like just that small of a connection, not small, I guess I mean, you know, having somebody that like I already adore and have talked to and that I like just wasn't expecting at all. You know what I mean? Cause Mm -hmm. we've had so much fun here and I never, like, I, I, I mean, did I not send you a headshot when, or an, not a hedge, an autograph when you, I. No, no, you. I'm didn't. gonna have to talk to my team because I, I don't want to throw anyone under the bus. Although they're not my, it, it, my I mean, team anymore. It, but I swear I did. I was like, send this. Can I? I, I if, gave. It if to you them. told them to, they never sent anything. But I mean, I'm I'm absolutely fine. Anyway, with that. no. Anyway, no. You know why? Because good. I got to give it to you personally. Exactly. Which I'd rather do. And the best part about it was too that like I like we we were talking on Twitter a lot back and forth at that point and you were. and I purposely didn't tell you that I was coming to that convention Ew. because I wanted to see what your reaction was and it was totally fucking worth it and it it was it was what I talked over you for the hundredth time what I I, I said it was what? totally fucking worth it was it or were you like oh no, my it, God. At, now, I've mother. been to so many conventions. I've moderated panels. I've interviewed people. I know. And that moment, no lie, is still one of my top three favorite moments of any convention I've been to. Okay, which begs the question. What are the other ones? Who the fuck are the other ones? Um, Rude. <laughs> um, do you really want me to tell? I, no, I don't. Okay. It was I'll, tell you, I'll tell you another that time. That you beat you. me to the dumb, lame, obvious joke and then... 
We had to let it sit there. No. <laughs> I am happy that you were not appalled no. at that. But like you have seen, you got to get one of these, a reusable one. I have one. Mm-hmm. I have them. I, I, I have like- a sponsor? I have like three or four of them. No, it's not a sponsor. <laughs> this keeps it cold. Um, this keeps it nice and cold. Don't you need that? And you're like, you're like, I don't, why is this? I'm not doing an ad I'm, for I'm it. In, I'm in 65 degree for- weather right now. I don't need you're to keep a, anything cold. Ah, <laughs> give me those donuts and cider. Um, um, oh, they, you know, uh, I'm totally sending you more tasty cakes after. No, that. you can't. No, no, no. I've gained the COVID-19. I will not let you do that. I won't. I won't. I am. I am currently no. working Easy. off my COVID-15. I, I, mean, I gained it's a bitch. You, okay, yeah. so I, gained, I gained 11, and I know for a fact because I went to the doctor. But you know what? It's also not just because of COVID. It's because life is insane right now, and yeah. this is a bad horror movie that none of us can get out of. And if you're anything, I feel like I've always been – I've always turned to food as a comfort. And Who then I just We're Italian. No, but a lot of people, I know, well, but see, there's a lot of uh, Italians who don't turn to it for comfort. They turn to it because it's like an offense not to, you know what I mean? Okay. Like my, I don't think my, I don't think my grandmother, well, I guess they did. They love food. Yeah. But you know, it was more like they never really enjoyed it. It was always like, why is this so, so good? And they're yeah. like, get mad about it. And they yell at you for not. Yeah. But um, yeah, this has been, I think it's just. I can't do any more tasty cakes because I bought myself some. I will have you know, I bought myself the knockoff cupcake ones. Oh, well, they're not like they weren't great. The and I, I know, no, 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 no. They were tasty cakes that I found in some store here that I got. Oh, married. well, then they're legit because I know there's a lot of no. stores in California and love. Florida that will. Tasty you cake. Think we'll I'm ship them. generic fucking tasty cake. <laughs> I don't. Come on. You might have been. If I'm going to gain ten know. pounds, I'm going all the way with the good shit. It's going to be a legit Philly. ten pounds. Right, but I will say whatever this. I don't think you sent me this tasty cake, and I never had it. But I feel like it was like a knock off Hostess cupcake tasty cake version of a cupcake. Okay. Does that make sense? Or it was something it. similar, and it just wasn't what I wanted it to be. Did it make me stop? And say, I should just throw these away. No, it's a sin to throw away food. And also, I was like, give it to a homeless person. What a treat. Oh, yeah. but I should. I mean, I paid money for it. I should just eat it. <laughs> Did I keep my carrots, though? No, I definitely tried to pawn those off I love on carrots, a homeless though. person. I do, too. I have this amazing garlic spread. If you have a tra- do you have a Trader Joe's near you? I do. I'm going to tell you all about it. Okay. We'll okay. T- I don't want this to become like we're talking. This is turning into like Martha Stewart. This is shoot the with shit Martha. with Dana. It's, it goes any direction. This garlic spread is like from Trader Joe's. I will just say all that it is. Well, I don't know that that. Yeah, it pretty much all, all that it is is garlic, lemon juice, olive oil. And, okay. um, and like as a hummus, but it's not a hummus. Does that make sense? It's the mm-hmm. texture of a hummus. Um, and it's, this was a good knockoff that I was like, all right, I'll allow it. Um, this, uh, in the farmer's markets here, um, whenever I would be able to go to one, there is this company, this, these two brothers that made uh, like probably 150 hummus. Is it hummus eye? Hum, um, hummus eye. We'll just say different varieties of hummus. This I way don't want to say that. That's more words than I'm already <laughs> saying that I'm working really hard on less, my friend. All so right. I make up a word. Fair enough. I'm going to call it hummus eye. Um, okay. And, um, and then, but, and, and like guac and stuff like that. And mm-hmm. it's the best of, of any kind, uh, even stuff you don't normally like. And so, but they give you back in normal days, they would give you a sample with their pita bread. If you wanted to try before you buy it. Right. Mm-hmm. Cause they weren't cheap. They were like a couple bucks a thing. Oh my God. Their garlic. It was literally on the thing, just garlic, salt, olive oil, and lemon juice. That sounds and delicious. And I know it sounds, but like, I'm Italian and I don't necessarily love garlic flavored things. I like garlic, but like to dip in it, I was like, they didn't tell me what it was. They just, they were like, try this. Cause I'd, be, I'd have gone there a bunch and they knew me by then. And I was like, what the actual fuck is this? <laughs> it's crack. And everybody, like, actually, I ended up going with one of the girls on Stars who was, and we were doing a marketing thing at the time, like, in between interviews. I'm like, let's go to this farmer's market and get this garlic stuff. She bought five of them. Everybody <laughs> I've turned on to, you, but so Trader Joe's has a version. You guys, anybody listening who just trust me, 
it's a fan thing. It'll make, it makes me eat vegetables. Otherwise I'll, I'm not a fan. I'll have to check that out. See my, my thing right now, especially with, uh, being at home and everything is I've, I've become addicted to my air fryer, my air fryer. Oh, I, I heard of yeah, like I'm an air fryer or something. I'm I'm a like it just fries. It's yeah, it's just circulated air that um I think you're freezing up a little bit, but we'll get through it. Oh, oh, there we go. No, we're good. We're good. Please, your it says my internet connection is unstable. <laughs> we're we're back. I to am normal. unstable. Everything. No, but this is what I've been dealing with all day, just in life. Why um, is my everything unstable? I don't know. I hope it was a really good face like this when I got first. <laughs> no, I think it was a normal face. I think you oh, I don't want it. there is no normal face with me. You were just it. Um but, but you so you so you fry everything. I don't fry everything. Um but I mean like uh, for example one of the la the latest things I just made in it is I made a lemon pepper chicken. Um you can fry, that's what I mean you can fry that? Oh, I've made I've made everything from wow. homemade fries and pierogies to chicken and salmon and pork chops and I'm, I salmon. Yeah, Look, oh God, you're making me so hungry right it, now. It's, and it like air fry, I'm, so it's crispy, like a fry. I mean, I have to be honest. I don't think I've ever had it. Somebody's. I have friends with air fryers, but I've never tasted anything. It's fresh. not always crispy. Sometimes it just cooks it normally. Like the chicken, when I made it, it was skinless, boneless chicken thighs, but like it came out like really nice and juicy. It was cooked all the way through, and it was wow. it was delicious. Yeah, Man, I'm I'm I've hooked on my air fryer right now. I mean, so, but does it fry? Is that considered frying then? They should call it an air cooker. I think it's a combination of both. Yeah, I guess it's not necessarily. Can you bread stuff and put it in it? Oh, yeah. Can I, you should, have you done the, um, have you done anything fun like Oreos dipped in waffle batter that are. I don't fried? think, I don't think it'll do come stuff on. like that. I know. What? I'm going to come and try it with you. We're going to, we're going to blow it up. And That's it. right. Well, we'll, we'll try some. We'll Lemon try pepper some shit chicken. I'm very impressed that you cook, Ben. Oh, I loved, are you kidding me? I'm Italian. I yeah, love it. No, cook. I doesn't know. I am the black sheep of the family. I fucking hate it. I'm terrible <laughs> at it. It stresses me out um, because probably like, what was your, was anyone in your family? Did they teach you? Uh, no, so I'm actually, I'm, I'm pretty self-taught actually. Wow. Um, yeah, actually, I'm, that's exciting. I'm actually estranged from a, a good side of my family for reasons, which I will tell you when we're not recording a podcast, sure. I, um, yeah. but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty self-taught. I've been that's pretty cool. independent since I was about 18 years old. So I, I had to teach myself laundry yeah. and cooking and cleaning and like all that stuff. So I'm Give it I'm, up for Ben, everybody. Are you clapping at home? I, I, I'm, I'm pretty domesticated, <laughs> domesticated That's, being, at this point. And by the way, how lucky and how proud of yourself were you during times like this? Oh, yeah. Where you're like, well, there's a lot of people out there that can't afford to have stuff delivered. I mean, I had to try and learn how to cook, and I had to eat a lot of very, very dry meat. Well, well don't, get, don't get me wrong. I DoorDash, too, so I, to, for some extra money. So there are plenty of times I smell other people's food, and I end up just oh, getting right. takeout on my way As home. You, but, like, you're doing the work for it. You're, you're allowed to do that. Yeah. Like, I went every, up in, for 17 years, like, pretty much up until we started filming. Like, I got the Ash vs. Evil Dead job. And would not quit because I didn't believe it because this kind of thing had happened to me before and then it just never worked out. So I was working up until like two weeks before we left for New Zealand. And I, we would have, I mean, we, the, the, that bar in the location I worked is closed, but they have a different location. But like we were on all the food channels. It was called Beer Belly. And oh yeah, and, I've heard of Beer Belly. And I helped, I was one of the OGs. It was, I was there before the floors were there. It was me and um, Brian and um, Rick and Jimmy, owned by Jimmy and Yumi Han, and they were like our age, and they just opened up this bar restaurant for their first one, and it was like massive hit. But like dine ins, dive, drive, I can never say it. Guy Diners, Fieri. drive ins, just say I triple can, D, it's easier, it's less work. Thank you, because I'm always like, ow, I'm always like diners, drivers, dine ins, drive. <laughs> um, that and like, I anyway, it was, and it triple D. Yep. And I mean, I never had had duck in my life because I just never needed to. And I refused to try it for a long time. Mm. And then I, these duck fat fries, duck confit duck fat fries, fried in regular oil and then tossed in duck fat, which makes the flavor. Like if you cooked it in duck fat, it would just be a fatty mess with, no, you mm -hmm. know, and then with a duck, duck skin crackling confit on top. Um, I'm sorry, Sounds duck good. skin cracklings and duck confit, which is duck meat cooked in duck fat. I am, I don't eat duck any other place. That was like it. 
They did a duck French dip, a quadruple layer grilled cheese with Ooh. bacon. And I, I, I can't, don't get, I, this will become our show. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> no, no, no. This is how much, I, this is why they loved me there because I, I was, they were only open at the time from like five to two. And that was my shift or four, like whatever. So I was always there when I was hungry and I could sell the shit out of anything when I really <laughs> believe in it. You know what I mean? I'm so t- I'd you be know, like, give me some of your sandwich. <laughs> you, give what, me that grilled cheese. It was what's so, so fun. What's so funny so is a couple, a couple years back when, after Ash vs. Evil Dead got canceled, unfortunately, which really, wah, 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 so many people wah, disappointed wah, 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 wah. in that. Are really um, though? Are you, you one of you them? And I, Did you cry a little bit? I was really bummed. I'm not going to lie. Because, yeah, I think we all were. I think you know, so, yeah. Um, but I mean, like it's, I know you and I had talked casually about possibly starting a pod, like doing a podcast together. Had we? I think we did, but you, you had some projects or something coming up that you had to see where they were, where they were going to That fall was right. Yes. Which before. then I like, that's it. Like, this is the longest I've ever, I've been in LA in a long time, to be honest. And then mm-hmm. it's still been a nightmare of cra- of craziness of like, not fun stuff, just everything. I'm just like, like, did, like I was telling you before this with all the phone problems. And then this, it's like everything, like I'm the only person who has not had time to learn how to bake bread or do anything fun because every day it's been a, a, whether it's dealing with my broken air conditioning and uh, whatever. So, but yes, I, now I remember there was something, um, uh, and I was ended up, I think I was, that was right before then I ended up shooting perpetual grace. Mm -hmm. I just didn't know when I was going to be there. And I ended up being there, a lot, but like, because I was also shadowing Stephen Conrad, the director, but I wasn't, so I was basically in Santa Fe from, and that was crazy, because I'd also then moved home to Ohio to help my dad after my mom passed, so it was like, oh, half my stuff was here, I, so I was like ping-ponging across the states, that's why, it was a little nuts. At yeah, the time. but I think we that's where I was. topic, we'll just talk about food, and like cooking, and, and places that we've gone, and different things that we can make, that'll be the podcast. Here's why that won't work. Okay. <laughs> I I don't make things. Oh, it doesn't have to be things we make. It could just be food we. You have. just literally said that. Oh, okay, I I stand corrected. I I correct. Oh that. come on! It'll, you got a ball bust back a little bit. It'll, it'll ball, just be food. Get on my ass that I all haven't right. learned how well, to cook. No, it's all yeah. Easy. In that case, well, it'll just be that. That's what the podcast can be. It could be yeah. me teaching you how to cook over Zoom. Oh God. It, you are going to rue the day when my own mother was like, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with you. That's when you know, because I'm like, well, how much is a pinch? And how, look at, by the way, I move so much and I'm so animated that if you haven't noticed, this is The screen moves a little bit, yeah. Because I keep knocking. And I, like, when I said ow earlier, it's because when I talked with my hands, I pulled this of my thing and it yanked my, yeah. Um, so we, so this will be fun. That's why I, I for, for safety reasons, I can't be physically doing a cooking show, but I would be there. We could do a virtual one where you can just have so much fun <laughs> dealing with my annoying ass being like, but what, but like how, what is a, what is a fold and how long and how do you know the meat's done? Are you sure the meat's done? Cause I have a, I have a phobia of under cooking meat. So I just stop cooking it. I, I think- eat it. I but think, I don't, okay. you know, I think a good, it could be a, a decent video series where I record myself making it and then I send you the video and you That's, record yourself trying to replicate no, it. Absolutely. I'm looking, I'm sweating, stressing out. We'll talk about it. <laughs> right, Let's we'll, fall outside of our, of our okay. interview. Oh All my right. God. I'm truly like sweating at nerves at that thought of having to, <laughs> having to try to cook and let all see how bad I am. All right. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll but we'll, I do make really awesome deviled eggs oh see i'm not even really a big deviled egg fan get the fuck out of here i know here. i know well maybe you know, i have to try you don't like anything i like make them. you know <laughs> so see, this is why <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll switch gears so that you're not as nervous sweats as much oh you always um, make me nervous sweat ben. why do i make you nervous sweat it's just casual conversation because i enjoy talking to you well let's so talk- i just don't want to be a fool the whole time and somehow the more i tell myself don't be a fool you just there I am, did it again. <laughs> well, um, I know. The more I fill the air and punish the air with words that don't matter <laughs> and waste your time. That's you never I'm waste saying. my time. This is never this whole waste interview. So maybe right now has been a colossal waste of it your has time. Not surprised been if you have anyone still watching me right now. They're all like Ben, hang up on her. 
No, look, here's Off the thing. Much. All right, so let's just, The, the yeah. proof that it hasn't been a waste of time was that this was scheduled for, and this isn't on you. I know interviews run late. This was Everything scheduled. Ran late. This was scheduled for six and we didn't get to connect until six, like 625 and start until 630. Right. If, this, if this was a waste of time, I would not have waited. And I waited patiently. All right. So I know I, what do you want me to do with hang up on the other person? It was all the whole, it wasn't a zoom thing. Look, if our friendship means anything, that's what you do. No, I'm just kidding. I'm totally kidding. You have a movie to promote and that's what we're going to talk about. By the way, about. can I give you a tip? Sure. When you someone like me, what's that? You, re- you don't, you don't need to qualify the joke and that, that just let it land. Cause just, it was okay. really funny. All right. Don't be so nice. <laughs> That's who I am. Like, I can't help you. like, yes, I, I know. That's why, that's why I get meaner to you as it goes on <laughs> and bust your balls. No, I'm just, God bless America. Oh, it's fine. Um, Stop it. Nobody cares. Um, no, I just, uh, yeah, I, I trust me. That's also why I was sweating before this because I was pacing. And then have you, I'm not good at listening and talking and also trying to type. This is how I type. That's why I do this. So okay. I was trying to type to let you know that I couldn't and they're taught it was a whole thing uh, why would this is a way can we edit this shit out no You're boring me I, ne- I, I very am boring myself edit. stop it you're not boring um, all right friendship called off if you don't so you're in <laughs> no. a pickle oh so I have to edit this in order for our friendship to stand you, yeah oh, I guess I'm putting That's our friendship at risk do. oh uh, shit yes it's gonna be at risk that's a gamble um it is. I uh, the, the, the one thing about this time that we're talking on like other times is we actually are under a time restraint because you do have other interviews to do. We still have some time uh, left, but I time? do. Uh, yeah, we maybe like we 10, have, 15 minutes left. So we're, we're good. We'll go hard 15. How about but, that? Sure. But I want to make if sh- we're a little bit later. No, I think I know. I know I have to. I, it's another Zoom one, so I can't not. Yeah, that you told me before we even started recording, you wanted to be more strict on that kind of stuff. So I got to. No, I know, because look I, what it did to you. But I, I got, promise you this. <laughs> What's that? Um, we can do this again sometime. Absolutely. Like sooner. Like just, yeah. to, just, to, just to talk. You can have a whole pitch with me about why I should try to cook. Well, I, ac- I actually do have a pitch for you that we'll talk oh, about. Oh, here after. we it's, go, everybody. Did I catch that at home? It's not you a- see it? What a fucking genius move that was. <laughs> anyway. That's why I'm here. All of this 40 minute buildup was to butter me the fuck up. <laughs> to be like, well, I do happen to have funny you should mention. I, I, I have this whole business proposition yeah. where the people under us can make more money as we go along. A big oh, scheme. that sounds good. Yeah, right? So I just take people's money and then I make money? Yeah. Tell me more. <laughs> I do want to make sure we get the Friendsgiving, though, before we oh. run out of time. Because All right, yes. No, of course. We do need I, to mention that. Because, and like, you know, just like Ash versus Evil Dead and Perpetual Grace, I want to, I, obviously, I want to support any projects that you're working and on. Thank we, you for always being so supportive. You really, know, so, really. Y- um, it's coming out on VOD October 23rd. So, and within- I think some theaters as well, whichever ones are, uh, are open, but yeah, I, VOD it's, let me tell you, I looked at the cast of this movie. You are working with some heavy hitters and, and a legend in Jane Seymour. Oh my goodness. I know. <laughs> I, I, I am. That's why I am. I was so happy. And I was so sad. Cause I, you know, our thing, we have, um, I play Kat Denning's sister in this. And her Italian family in Jersey. And we Fitting. are, yeah, right. And um, our, our, we only shot for a day. Like we were pretty quick in, in and out of it. And I wouldn't leave set. <laughs> I signed out and everything because really that's, you know, when it comes to like, we would, they need to make sure time, the union, mm-hmm. all that stuff. So I had signed out and I was like, hey, I'm just going to stick around and watch because I happen to love whether it's them or, or whether it's a student film that I'm, you know, it doesn't matter. I learn so much from doing it and I just like it. I love being, well, what I love being on a set. Who knows what it'll be now, but like, I still, I just love that. Right. So we, so I, this kept happening all day. This is kind of like what happens at a convention when people who are not as, I mean, you were very kind cause you had known me, but like when people are like Dana, it's really great, but I really have to go. Can you please let go of my hand now? Because I really have to meet Norman Reedus. 
And I was like, oh my God, buddy, someone's there. They're like, really, we have to go. I'm, and they're apologizing to me because I'm creeping them out and they need to leave. <laughs> uh -huh. That's what this was like when they were like, the couple I've had, I swear, I just thought of this today when I was thinking about it. I was like, remember when four, five, six different producers, two different a ADs came up to me and they said, you know, you're wrapped, right? You, why are you still here? And I was like, I'm signed out. I just want to want to watch. And they were like, oh, okay. Cause it was such an amazing cast. Yeah. Um, and it's, and I have to say, man, it's, it was, I tip my hat to Nicole Payone who wrote and directed it. Um, I, I don't want to misspeak and I should have looked this up, but I think it was her, it's her debut feature that's, that's released that she wrote and directed. And why I love this film and is because when it's funny on paper, you know it's gonna be funny as long as they don't screw it up, which they didn't. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, you know anything that makes any, for me at least, if something makes me laugh when I'm reading it, which is very rare, like laugh out loud while I'm in my house reading it, I was like, this is so funny. And it's just, it's, you know, it's like something that everybody can relate to because it stars Kat, I should say what it is. It stars Kat Dennings and Mullen Ackerman. I mean, they're Aisha? pretty ugly. <laughs> oh, yeah. um, these like beautiful girls who are best friends. Aisha um, Tyler, Christine Taylor, Chelsea Peretti. Like the cast is phenomenal. Yes. And I, uh, you beat me to it. I was going to lay it out. Sorry. Um, but no, it's okay. I like, I like your, I like your, um. You're on it. You're keeping me on track, Mr. Ben. Um, but they, so they're two best friends, both going through a breakup. Um, uh, Mullen Ackerman, who plays Molly, hers is, she has a new baby and hers is a divorce, right? And pretty recent, like two months. Um, whereas Kat plays the friend, her girlfriend broke up with her like a year prior. So you have the two tropes of friends. The one that's like, I already have a new boyfriend. Or girlfriend, you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. it's it's the you have whether you're male or female or whatever you identify with. It's it's you are you are. There are the people in the world who get over it quickly. It's like best way to get over someone, get under someone else, as they say. And then there are the people <laughs> who I think I'm more like where you just mope and and are no fun to be around for like two years. Listen to sappy um, music. Exactly, watch sappy movies. and that's all. Listen, I've gotten better about not talking about it all the time, but that's the that's already the conflict at the beginning is like they're gonna just spend a thank their Thanksgiving together when they normally are with their respective people and their families. Mm -hmm. And and they're like, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be small, but it's friends. And uh, you know, it's better than being with family at Thanksgiving. Wrong. The fact of the matter is we've learned, and I think anybody who's had a family Thanksgiving and a friend's Thanksgiving. Um, that this it just shows just like what it does when you have those moments that like friends givings are fun, but they're still totally dysfunctional. Have you, have you done a friends giving before? Cause I certainly have. Yes. Okay. Oh yes. And the best, the best Thanksgiving. I mean, now I, I like, now it's like awful to say that when people and like my family have, have died and I'm like, Oh, the best one was when I was, with you <laughs> no, that's not true. But we like, know what you mean though. They, but, but that's why I, if you have, or anyone else has, here's the, the other little fun things in there. Cause that's not the whole, the whole, where it goes awry is when people crash it. Um, and what could possibly go wrong when, <laughs> um, a, a mother that is not necessarily wanted shows up, exes show up, Oh, and along with the wine, all the wine and booze and the turkey, what could go wrong with magical mushrooms oh, <laughs> and drug trips? I certainly Nothing want to see would that. go yeah. wrong. Um, but yeah, so I, um, I, I think also what I, la I mean, Chelsea Peretti is so funny. She, it's like everybody in this, Dion Cole, um, there's like awesome cameos, not cameos, there's awesome surprise moments with, and, I won't even say. Another pod, say, another right. podcast, another alumni of my podcast has been is in that movie too. Andrew Santino has been on my. I've had. Oh my before. gosh! Amazing. Yeah. Yep. I love. I mean, so funny. And so it's also um, how when you, when your friends, friends, there's some really good ones that you love. You're like, I'm in. And then you, I don't know if anyone else has felt this way, but um, me personally, when it's like a, just those one or two of my friends, friends, and I'm like. How are you guys friends? Yeah, I've been and there. I literally, when you have to sit at a meal with your friends, friends, or somebody who said that you just 
it make you just want to scream. Mm-hmm. And, and it's almost like they can sense it. So they just keep poking, you know? That is not funny in real life when it happens to you, but it's really funny to watch. I can't wait to see it. I really can't. Like, like I said, the, it's cast, great. the cast is phenomenal. I, I love supporting anything that you do, um, even though I haven't seen Perpetual Grace yet. That's okay. Um, I, I want to, considering, you know, I'm, you know you're, you and I's friendship, and I've had Jimmy Simpson on the podcast before. Oh, how great is Jimmy? He was fantastic when, when I had him on. I mean, um, I've been very, I have to say, I have been very lucky, and I just want to call this out, especially when there's been so many recent reminders that there are a lot of shitty people in the world. I would just like to say that I, have, I am so grateful and, and really mean this. I have no, no one tells me to say this, obviously, but like truly, I've been very lucky. Like Bruce Campbell, Lucy Lawless, Lee Majors, amazing. Michelle Hurd, Ted Ramey, amazing. Uh, Samara Weaving, one of my, my, my dear close friends from, from then. Um, all of the people on Friendsgiving, like these names like that, you know, that are um, a perpetual grace. Jimmy and Louis Glissman. Uh, everybody on that uh, Craig Ferguson sure, going back from when you would yeah back from and it. yeah oh, wow. and it's like everybody I've worked with has been just really salt of the earth people that I just think we need more of in the world and in this business and I just want to also tip my hat to all of them because they're you know it's that's what makes it fun and that's what I think makes a good movie or a tv show you know when everybody really likes each other that that's when it it just works you know yeah. what I mean um, and they can have fun outside of the seriousness of, of creating the crap. Yeah. And, and well, and that, and also like acting is about, it's, it's really more of a team sport. It's not, there's so many, I shouldn't say so many, but I think there are some people that are, make it about them. And it's never about the, it's never about you or your role. It's about the people in the scene with you. And it's about serving the story. And I think some people get that. And I think some people don't. Yeah. And you know what I mean? It's, it, you can't be a ball hog. You can still be, uh, you can still, you know, shine, but you can't hog the ball the whole time. You have to like, and I think that's what lends itself when it's good people who genuinely like each other. Yes, the fun comes, but I'll have to be honest. I haven't, I can't think of too much time. We had too much extra free time for fun on, you know? Um, but I mean, once, you know, you do, I'm like days off, of course, but mm-hmm. I think it really is just, it's about a vibe, you know? And I've been very lucky to have a really good vibe on shows that I was starring in and on shows that I just had a very small part in that I was so happy to be with. So I think that's that. And it's the parts when you, like when I'm not the, the, the Kelly Maxwell, when I'm stepping into, to, with all of these people that I'm, I'm, you know, there for a day and they treat you like you are, they treat everybody, not just me, they treat everybody, mm-hmm. whether you're an extra. And that's how I've always been with, because you know what I mean? So I just really, I think we need to, Remember that with they, people. They you're you. that way, Ben. You would fit right in. Well, I mean, I, I just I, talk for ten minutes about I, that. No, it's fine. Sorry. It's I'm just fine. on a really big kick about like decency and kindness and. But I and, think that's what's you know? needed right now, though, too, in the world. Yeah. I mean, I mean. Yeah. Without you know, without going political or anything like that, there's just so much hatred in the world right now. So that it's, much. It, Do you well, feel like I don't know if anyone else besides I've been told i'm now i'm officially an empath but like i have i have anxiety and stuff anyway but i i feel like don't you feel like i'm dead serious can i ask you a dead serious question but i'm not being crazy yeah i'm saying this totally in a sane sincere way sure maybe it's just me here in la with all that's been going on and the fires and then there was a blood moon and then this it was it was then it was i want to get into it doesn't it feel like it's the end of the world? Like it's the I'm, signs of the apocalypse. There, there have what? honestly been times I have honestly feared that we're on the verge of something big coming and you it's know? not positive. It's, I mean, I have fears that this might be our last election, the way things are going, like, and the country's just going to go to shit when this is over. I um, mean, it's already a kind of, you know. It's already a, a shit little, show, let's be honest. It's just, a sh- it's just, look, I think, but then again, you know, I think if we all just, I do, I do, I'm so cheesy, but, or call it the Kelly Maxwell in me, but I still do believe that good guys might finish last, but I feel sometimes 
but I still do believe that good will eventually win over evil. I well, I, I will tell you this. If something does happen and it's like the end of the world era kind of yeah. shit that happens. You're going to Zoom me, I'm, baby? No, I'm, I'm making my way to LA and I'm joining Team Dane. <laughs> it's, You're going to wait, wait, sorry. Uh, you lost me at, if it's the end of the world, I'm making my way to LA because this is the first, I'm getting the fuck out. I've right, been, well, I'm like, I got we'll my meet, escape plan. We'll meet in the middle then. Somewhere. Wait, like, why are you going? Why? Why are you getting out of? Why are you coming to LA? Uh, just to be Team world? Dana. That's it. That's so. Oh, all right. I'll just put. I'll just. I'll say come whatever. to you. Fuck that. I'll that come works. to you. Because then I can go pick up my dad in Ohio. There we Philly go. Philly is my roots, and we're gonna go all the way. Here's the deal. Though. We're going to Cape May. Fuck yes, we. <laughs> <laughs> and and there we go. Come on, you gotta come on, do it so I can do it. And right. I know you know what I mean. And I'm gonna see how well you know me. Oh, do God. it, do it, so you so I can do it. Really? Uh, you're gonna make oh. me sing? No. Oh, what, what, what? Oh, yes, I am. No, 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 no. I take it back. What do you want me to do? I was gonna say, say where else we're gonna go? Very close to Cape May. Oh, oh Wildwood. What 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 watch the tram car? Watch the tram car, please. What 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 no, and I, but they have gotten, I mean, Wildwood, part of its charm was it's like trashiness, right? But even like for the women, for the men, it's like, the <laughs> when we last went, I was like, am I just old now? Or have they gotten so much worse? No, it's gotten worse. And I'm worse. not sensitive, like I'm not, I believe in, in free speech. And if you want to make a raunchy t-shirt, I think they're funny as hell, even when they're <laughs> stupid. But some of them, I was like, I, that's not even funny. <laughs> it's just like, you, it's like, Arrow, uh, you fucking suck. And that's what it said on one of them. And I was like, why? And they're that? the shirts that are hanging on the racks outside of the store too. So everybody walking by can see it. They're not even hidden in the store. I, they're right I out I just front. snorted right next to the hermit crabs. <laughs> ah, oh my God, I love uh, it. I, oh hate, I hate doing this because it's- No, I know. it's not time. Who do I need to call? All right, I, I say by my clock, it's 416. So, okay. So I want to push, hold on. I want to, okay. I'm just gonna, I'll, I'll, I'll deal with it. Uh, let's set a timer. Let's see, set a timer <laughs> for five minutes. All right. Does it work? So, um, oh my God, let's go to the end of the world. And I know. Kate May and Wildwood. And, and I want to be on a horse and fucking buggy when the asteroid is. The Wildwood, Wildwood already sort of looks like the end of the world. So right. it's no, not we're like it's that big of a deal. We're going to that we're going to go and get our bad food and la we're going we're gonna to force each other to buy each other a bad t-shirt. Can I tell you? All right. So <laughs> going on the, those bad foods, the last time I was in Wildwood over this summer, I, I only went this down past one. this past summer. No, no, sorry. No, I wasn't. I was going to say, sorry. I hope you didn't go down no, there during no. COVID. It was, at the, it was at the end of last summer. That's, um, well, I was there last. Yeah, a week. You were there over 4th of July. July. No, no, no. My mom's birthday. It would have been, it was end of last week. Yeah, you were, you were there for your mom's birthday. That's right. So like last week in June. Yeah, we mm -hmm. were there like, the, okay, because we were there. We left before June 30th. Okay, I, I, I went so down went. around September for just for the day just to like hang out but with then I was, why did i see you at new jersey or because i was there in atlantic i was in atlantic city like a, uh, no i was supposed to go to horror con but i i couldn't make it i had something come up that week okay that's why because i think i was expecting yeah. yes okay sorry i keep interrupting no it's fine out. okay i i had one of my absolute favorite boardwalk foods ever what and is yours it is simply funnel cake oh the elephant ears or funnel cake yeah no it's it's funnel cake with peanut butter on top. Wait, 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 wait. Remi we always got, so elephant ears is not fun, fun okay? So we always called them because my mom loves elephants. I think it's the same thing with the powdered sugar normally. Yep. Yeah. And it's the fried, yeah. Like yeah. doughy, like, wait. With peanut butter? There is a, there is a shop on the boardwalk. <laughs> there, there is a shop on the boardwalk that puts everything from 
chocolate syrup, Go marshmallow fluff. Go away. This is corn to me. This is my corn. Peanut butter, like chocolate chips. Like it's, and I had it with just peanut butter swirl on top. And, and you know what? Oh, and it would like melt because of it. And I would take it if they had like, here's my go-to. If they had like, you put a little cold ice cream with it, mm. a coffee ice cream, or just, I would oh. do like you. I'm a peanut butter fiend. Peanut butter, a little, like half of that drizzle. Here's how I, this is how I cook. Half of that drizzle of like Nutella. Uh, ooh, that works too. And then for me, just cause I like, a, I like coconut, just a, just a, maybe, no, cause that might screw up the texture. Nah, I don't want anything artificial. Sorry, that's me thinking out loud. Um, I was gonna say like on an ice cream cone sometimes cause I, my go-to was always like coconut and coffee ice cream with some chocolate something. And then- Coconut and coffee? I mix like, oh, oh, with peanut butter. Sorry, I forgot that. Coffee, it depends on what they have, but if they have a coffee ice cream, okay, and a co and a peanut butter ice cream, okay, that like that's the base, and then I sometimes what they have the coconut whatever. But if they do, if they only have one or the other, they're interchangeable, for sure. Peanut butter and coconut, get out. <laughs> um, that's like what those balls are. Those, um, those um, no, the, um I the date balls or whatever, like. The date balls it. have, yes, but I make them, I've made them no cook with like, um, that's because I didn't have to cook them yeah. with, this is my motion for, what is that called? Well, that's you what you do when, ball. You roll, when you roll the ball. You roll yeah. again, words yeah. are hard sometimes when I'm thinking about <laughs> food. All right now I'm like, all I want is a funnel cake and fries with, you know, we don't have malt vinegar out here. So for fries? I'll, I'll send yeah. you malt vinegar. No, I bought some on oh, Amazon. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, but you, you I mean. It. No, malt, you cannot send me tasty cakes. I'm telling you. I send me malt vinegar. Send me. I know you can't send me. I'm just saying at least vinegar is healthier than funnel cakes. You know what you can send me? What? I want you to send me as. <laughs> what is what is your request? I want. I amuse myself. I've been alone a lot. <laughs> I, mean... <laughs> I need a life. I need a life. Um, I. Um... <laughs> Sorry, I just have the image of it. I want you to send me your air fryer to keep <laughs> the funnel cake hot. And I want, I have the peanut butter, but you're welcome to send it. And then I want it to be three day fi priority, which will take 15 because they're shutting down the post I'll, office. I'll send you an air fryer and, and just. I do, right. Which I will then send back like Tupperware because I only <laughs> want the air fryer to keep it hot I'm, I'm just picturing a new lifestyle during a pandemic where people are sending people back Tupperware over FedEx. Um, no, that's, uh, uh no, but the, because it's not about that. It's that it's an air fryer. That's more than Tupperware. I would. <laughs> I, I feel like I, oh, my aunt who sends me cookies and food things. Cause she's the Italian. She's my mom's sister. They cook, you know, she cooks and she will send me things. And I will always like send her, <laughs> not always. <laughs> I will once in a while send her back with a thank you note on the inside of the Tupperware because I'm like, somebody needs it. <laughs> I ain't using it except for uh, my funnel cake that I'm going to have. I will find a way to send you funnel cake. I know I you will. See, I should be careful what I say. I I'll find let a way me, to do it. Let me, let me exercise again. <laughs> All right. Get back into that and my reward. Will be the funnel cake. Being healthy again. Will, will be, be the, the funnel, funnel cake. cake. Yeah. Um, or I'll just come to you for the end of the world, which is about couple weeks away so it works too yeah so all right i know we're, we're, we're out of time i don't want to keep Shoot. you in, but so we're I definitely know, we're, we're gonna do, do another again. we're gonna do another zoom call soon without let's recording like, we're just like gonna maybe, do it wait what do you mean without record oh i see oh we'll just well, talk. maybe you don't show this one and we do <laughs> and we do another one a little all bit right. more no i'm kidding you can no. show what i got nothing to have people people can now see when i'm talking and I'm just always this way. I'm just always this loud. I'm just always this moving so, this much. And so, especially when it's somebody that I enjoy and like very much. Oh, then it's like, bah! So basically you're just always awesome. That's, that's what you're I trying to say. I don't know that a lot of other people have said that <laughs> word. They have said other words that begin with an A, but. Oh, um, stop it. No, it's true. And then that's why I can never watch anything. Cause I'm always like, 
I thought I was being so still. <laughs> and then I'm like, <laughs> tell, um, tell, anyway. Tell people yeah. where they can find you on social so that people can follow you. I know. Under a rock where I'm about to go <laughs> crawl right back into until I get my taste or my, my fun yeah, See, um, you told me not to send you tasty cakes. I know. And, and it was, you got I it on had the to get now. out of that because I don't want people to, I don't want to encourage people to go live under rocks. It's going to be um, one of those things where people are going to come to cons once they start back up and they're just going to bring you tasty cakes. And it's all, I'm going to be so pissed off at you because I can't. <laughs> Although I did love sidebar really cool shit. Um, sorry. Uh, I did. Um, I mean, other than you and Philly, I loved, I love going to those mm. um, cons anyway, just because like I said, it's, it's my, it's my therapy. You know, it's the best getting to talk to like, Oh God, people watch their show and they enjoy it. You know, and it's, and I like to geek out about that shit. As I just mentioned, people are forced to push <laughs> me away Yeah, because I, well, I you, don't jump on people like I did you. That, that happened was, though. You and I were sitting there talking for like a while and your handler, I don't know if it was a con handler or your handler had to tap you on the shoulder and say, uh, Dana, you have other people in line. Because <laughs> how would you feel if you were those people like, who's this fucking asshole? What is she but talking? You, like me, you, me, not you. You did say though, you did look at me and say like, all right, I have to talk to these other people, but you can come sit behind my table anytime you and want for the rest I of the meant weekend. It. And I did. I did. It's such a blur. I have no memory of things. I don't remember you sitting there. Oh, I think you probably did. And then I was like, got busy or like had to go do photo ops or whatever. I was running to a panel or something that I had to do. And then I didn't get to talk to you at all. And I just remember constantly apologizing to you. It's just I it's you were fine. I, because I also want to give, like if people are coming and waiting in line to meet my ass, I want to talk to them. Yeah. And little though, I, I have to start reading the room better when they're like, I'm so sorry. I just have to go. And I'm like, but don't you want to? Uh, anyway, uh, but wait, uh, wait, there was something. Oh, in Philly, I was going to just say in Jersey, yeah, yeah. in Jersey, they brought me homemade cannolis. I got donuts, fresh donuts. You did tell me that because I said when I was coming out, when I was originally supposed to come out to New Jersey Horicon, I told you I was going to bring you more tasty cakes. And you were like, no, I have enough. No. Because somebody did, else had I brought did. you desserts. They That's did, right. but also someone brought me taste cakes. And then, and, but also then like that food doesn't keep. And I was like, you know, you worry, is it safe or whatever? And then my, I was like, ah, it's fine. I like, we were, and we ate the shit out of it. Me and my handler, my, my handler, my friend. Um, and anyway, so that's why you couldn't, but listen, it's happening. I want a cheesesteak with that good ass Amoroso Philly bread. Oh, absolutely. Um, that's all you, actually, I don't like, that's all I want is that bread. You, you did. I'm, I'm going to remind you of something else too. And then I'm going to, I'm going to wrap this. Cause I don't want you okay. to get in trouble with. I don't people. care. I know. No, and I love fine. that you don't care. A, no, I do. But it's also like, I only think it's fair to, for everyone to get the time. This is pretty much right when we signed on. Yeah. Not so when I signed on. So I'm telling them you were leaving me. Go ahead. Um, the first time we ever spoke the first time we I had you on the podcast and we started becoming friends at that point you did promise me well I mean we didn't become friends like right then it took a little worse. it took a little time but still. I'm busting your balls come on we gotta go out with the so but calm down though you, you did we did an interview where we were best friends calm the fuck down yeah. <laughs> no because I could tell I because it was this immediately I could just we, feel the energy that it's like Oh, he gets me. I get him. Let's go. You All did right. make a promise. And it was that. Oh, my God. Were... Bye. <laughs> you, you did say that you were going to come when next time you came to Philly, which hasn't happened yet. So you haven't had an opportunity. Right. To... Yeah, that's a fact. So we were going to go to Philly. We were going to go in the city. We were going to get a cheesesteak. And you were going to call Bruce so I could talk to him on your phone. All right. Well, that shit that might not be... happen. Yeah. <laughs> So, but the cheesesteak part still has to happen. No, I could, um, we'll send him out. We don't, he, I don't call Bruce. Bruce so calls I you? Just, no, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> we, um, like, I think we'll, it'll be like an email once and it, like, I'll send it just to check in. I, I'm like a checker in her with people. And I'm, again, I'm that annoying person when I bond with people on a show, especially whether it was a play I did 20 years ago or whatever. Or, or a show, like I, I bond, I get attached to just like that family unit of that, mm. you know, 
we went through something together. Anyway, I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, a, what's it called? I'm a barnacle. I, oh, okay. That works. And like, again, I am just, I seem all fun and games. And then until I'm really your friend, you're like, <laughs> don't leave me alone. Right, anyway, so- but we will, no, no. Oh, okay. It's no, my I, time. I, I, we got one minute. Um, meaning I don't care. Um, not, I don't care. It's fair. I don't want people to think I'm not, I'm screwing somebody else. I just sent, I just got a message like to, if you trust me, it's fine. Okay. All right. I just do more. Well, one more minute, one more minute. Um, and, uh, anyway, so I, but I like, so well, but, oh, and this is not a, that was not a dig on, on Bruce, please. By any means, I don't want that to come up. I didn't take it as that. At all. But all like, it's like, you know, it's, I, I, it's, it's pretty much how all my friends are right now where you check in once in a while and. Um, and he'll, he'd send me like, and he still busts my balls about Buca de Beppo. That was like some funny thing he came up with once and where he told 800 people or a thousand people in one of his Q and A's once at something I wasn't at, like Dana hates her, like Buca de Beppo. I don't hate it. I just said, it's not authentic. Like if you want Italian, it's like, like I was garden. Like, exactly. And I was just saying, yeah. I've never eaten at one of those, That's um, ex- except because we weren't allowed. We, you weren't in your Italian, your food is holy. We might, it was like, what am I going to go somewhere to eat slop when I can make it for cheaper at home? You know, that kind of thing. So, but he thinks it's funny to have all those fans constantly be like, Buca de Beppo, it's so authentic, and bombard my Twitter feed with <laughs> photos of every Buca de Beppo, <laughs> which now is just, so then that, we, we have, it's sort of like that, you know, and, um, and he's been, cause I saw him, you know, so I check it. So we'll do that. We'll check in on him. And he was just in Philly or not Philly. I'm sorry. I think he was just in, I no, saw he, he was in Pennsylvania I, I, doing a, he's doing like a drive-in tour, yeah. which is so perfect for him. I always said, I was like, you are obviously brilliant and hilarious it's, with the one liners, but he, I'll tell you what, I've, there's something that is like even more magical live. That drive through that he did was actually in the parking lot of the convention center where that con was that we met. That's Meta! where it was. Yeah. So <laughs> well, I would see, you should have told me that. And I would have, I didn't know it was close to Philly. I would have told you to like, hey, I can maybe try and ask so, Bruce's person if they'll let you get like a, I don't know. But he, oh, you can't really with COVID so, right now anyway. He's not, he's not meeting people anyway, right? Oh, I wouldn't blame him during all this. I mean, it's it, right. Nope, stay I mean, over but, there. Yeah. You know, right? And also, you know, he's he's busy guy. But yeah. yes, I promise you, we will at the very least next time I see you, you can prompt. This is the pr- promise adjustment with COVID concerns, okay. right? I'm listening. I don't know why I just said that, but it's <laughs> not true. But um, like meaning with or without COVID, it would probably be this way, but because of safety concern. Um, we're going to, I'll have you make a video okay. on my phone, either with or without me. And I will email it to him personally, right in front of you. And okay. I'll probably bombard his Twitter with it. That works. That sounds okay. fair. How's that? That works. I can't guarantee good, he's going to respond. That's fine. Cause he doesn't always, he does. It's like, I, you know, I'm just, he's a busy guy, but he does. He will. He'll probably be like, cool. All right. That works. That good um, enough for now? That works. That totally works. Oh, God. He's going to hear about this and be like, hey, listen, lady. <laughs> <laughs> you want to start being my manager? Tell me who I'm going to talk to, <laughs> where I'm going to be. Then you can sign. <laughs> oh, God. I just want to say, now I'm red. I just want to say, I have no idea what I've just said. We should just cut all of that out. <laughs> and so the heat is getting to me now. And okay. I, and, you, I, and you have another Zoom call after this. I have another Zoom interview, yes, and then, um, but, 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 but beyond that, I just want to say, in case it came off weird, <laughs> Bruce is, I'm not kidding, he's amazing, and I just meant I don't really call him, because I can't. His fans have no doubt that he's amazing. They know he's amazing. He is. You don't have yeah, but to. But he plays the asshole, to, like, even as a persona but with that's fans. That's why he's amazing. That's why we love him. Right, but he's not, is what I'm trying to say, is he's actually really, and he doesn't like when people know that, because he's, like, a really, really nice man, and he's brilliant. Um, but yeah, I can't say that we're like, you know, you're not like, you're not like this. You're not like best buds, but well, no, we're, we're, we're like, we're like probably what Kelly and Ash would be. He'll send me like a Snapchat he did that was already, that he posted like once in a while. And it's just out of nowhere. And I'd be like, you're hilarious. <laughs> All right. Get a plan. You know? I'm, I'm, I'm going to, as much as I don't want to, and as much as I know we could talk for like hours. We could. I clearly am just delaying. I know. Inevitable. 
because now you have to actually, well, this was a conversation. Now you have to go on an actual interview, which, you know, um, we should have saved it. Yeah, we should have had your rep save this for the last one of the night. And then this way we could have just been. But I thought it was a time thing. Eh. All right. Well, you know what? Let's all calm down. It was fun. It was it fine. Was. And I will talk to you. I'm going to do it again it soon. Happen. Yeah. Um, I'm Dana DiLorenzo on Twitter and Instagram. Dana DiLorenzo official on Facebook. Okay. You don't need to mention all the things. Well, I, I do want to say, though, because I told your rep I would mention this. Um, uh, you are on Cameo and Real Talk Live. Oh, yeah, Live yeah, yeah. But, yes, for other people but, that want to talk to you, which I highly recommend. Well, well, and Real Talk, you know what? Real Talk Live is, is an amazing alternative for conventions because in, instead of uh, being at a table where you are in person with me, it's a video chat just like this mm -hmm. that then you get a copy of like that. I could, could get to at least see people, you know what I mean? And, yeah. um, and so that's, that's a platform they're, they're, they're just rolling out that I'm that um, they reached out and I'm on board with that. Cause I love clearly I need more of this so that I can get to the point a little quicker. And then cameos have kept me going. And so the, like the most honest, like, I, it's like people like that I've, that I now consider like friends like you because of, Truly, I just just know that like this fan base for this franchise and what you all or the people I've gotten to meet, like people like you, Ben, have, have enriched my life at a time when I needed it most. And I, I that is not a fan service. And I hope that people can see my face because I'm a terrible liar. Um, <laughs> well, I, 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 I know you're nervous. I just needed to say that because it's like I'm so happy I got to meet you through all of this and have this moment where I could just feel like I'm talking you know, to my friend Ben, it wasn't a whole, like, you know, it wasn't a stuffy situation with yeah. sometimes they can be right. Yeah. Interviews. I mean, so. um, not stuffy. Oh God. See, this is where I get into trouble. Cause then I'm like so comfortable. <laughs> I just mean, I really love this fucking fan base. That's all I got to say. And they love you. So I oh, mean, God. it's, it's can we just edit this whole thing. No, we got to edit not, this whole we're thing. We're not editing anything out. Like if you don't is... cut it out. Go ahead. I'm waiting no for Bruce the Campbell, No Bruce Campbell. No cooking. No I'll podcast. Take, I'll take no the interview risk. ever again. I'll take the. Go you, ahead. You are such a liar. Because because you could tell I'm a bad liar when you I'm bad such lying. A li when, when you said no lie. interview ever again, I'm like she's such a fucking liar. No, That's I can say it sincerely. No interview ever again. You're right because this wasn't an interview to begin with. This was a conversation between friends. So. <laughs> On that note, I'm gonna. <laughs> wrap this up uh data it's always a great time anytime oh, i love you. you to death so um again i encourage everybody listening or watching check you out on social media or, and or friends coming out october 23rd october 23rd to vod and select theaters so it's super funny and we all could use some laughter right now and it's 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 all the great things in all the right ways so absolutely Dana, thank you so again. much my band <laughs> i'll see you in the boardwalk sometime in 2025 but in the meantime i'm sure don't post this or you're dead so <laughs> i'm sure love you bye, love you too. bye. <laughs>